so when you went back to Nigeria, you met, well, you, I guess, had to deal with Triple MG? Um, actually, no, there wasn't a Triple MG yet. I okay. moved to Nigeria 2012 and I met up with the Yaya. I had actually met the Yaya in 2010 yeah. and then again in 2011 for the um, concert that they were having. And then 2012, his manager was just like, I'm trying to start a label. Yeah. Um, it could be you, my other artist, the Yaya, and we can just start from there. And I was like, okay. So when I moved there, there wasn't really a label yet. It wasn't until Kukere was somewhat before the video even, yeah. um, they were saying that we want to do a label, what are your ideas on that? I was like, yeah, let's do it, let's go for it. We fund ourselves, we do everything by ourselves, mm -hmm. so let's start a label. And they were thinking of a name, and I was like, I mean, let's do Made Men, because we're made, we do our own thing, it's only us and God. You know so understand? you came up with that name? Yeah, I came up with the name. And um, so today you have Triple MG, and um, it was really from scratch. Like, there was no, some godfather helping us or somebody giving us money and funding us. It was literally everything that we make goes to the music. So it, it's really something that I'm proud of because it started from nothing and became something that people know today. So what are these reports about you leaving Maid Man or you being fired or you getting out of the crew? <laughs> What's all that about? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really sure about that. I've never heard of me being fired. You, but you haven't seen it? No, being fired. No, I didn't do anything. So yeah. <laughs> any scandalous. Yeah. No, but I'm definitely, you know, going to be doing my own thing because I'm representing for the ladies. Yeah. You know what I'm I've done my part. You know, I've done tours with the Yaya. I've done so many things with the Yaya. So now this is the year where I'm going to do my thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start my own you know, videos and my own singles and my album is dropping later this year. So, I mean, there's definitely going to be a greater focus on me and what I'm right. doing, but I'm triple M. I'm, that's my fam. So. Oh, okay. So you, you're still with the label. Oh, yeah, I'm still with them. Okay. So you are saying you're doing your own thing. That means what exactly? That means I'm doing like a greater focus on myself because um, if you hear Yaya's music, I'm helping him with his album, I've yeah. helped him with his tours and everything. Yeah. And now um, you're going to see me doing my own shows, you're going to yeah. see me doing my own album, you're going to see me doing because I'm trying to take my brand to the next level. And it's so necessary mm -hmm. because that's what people expect of me to take myself to the next level. So that's what I'm, I'm really focusing on that right now. Do you feel like the label, you guys put more energy into Yaya than you? Well, I don't feel like they put more energy on him, but he was the start of what we're doing. Yeah. So he became successful after the hard work that everybody put into him, and he himself worked so hard. Yeah. And um, you would have seen it as us caring more about Iyaya, but yeah. it's just the fact that when somebody has already reached a certain level, yeah. he has to maintain that, because any drop makes us drop, drop. you understand? Yeah. So mm -hmm. now if I don't become successful, on his level or above, it looks bad on him. Yeah. So it's kind of like that type of thing, but I'm not gonna say, oh, you guys only care about me. No, never, yeah. because that would be an insult to how hard he's worked. You know what I'm saying? He's been in the game since 2008. He won Project Fame, mm -hmm. and he's been blowing up ever since. So yeah. I came 2012 and kind of saw what he did, because he yeah. sings R&B, yeah. and I sang R&B too. Yeah. But in Nigeria, you have to be able to switch it up. So I've learned a lot from Iyaya, and. Yeah. Also, um, he supports what I'm, he's very supportive of me. So yeah. it's good that I'm taking this time to do So my... were you guys ever dating? Me and me? <laughs> no. I'm sure you've gotten asked that before. What? They ask me that all the time. Yeah. Maybe in the future, but not right now, no. We heard rumors though that you were actually dating um, Yubi, Yubi no, Franklin. No, I never dated him. You never dated See, him See, I all? get that him and Yaya, no. Yeah. We have a business together. I never dated any of them, so. Really? Yeah. Really, really? I swear, I never dated anybody. So who were you dating all this while in Nigeria? Well, I was dating someone in the industry, but we're in not industry. dating right now, yeah. Really? <laughs> hmm, sounds like some tea. Right? <laughs> Seriously, yeah. so yeah. this person, was it like, obviously, it wasn't known to the public, but no. privately, friends knew mm. all about you and those guys? Well, it was really, I don't want, because... You know when you put your friends in a position to know something that the public doesn't know and then it gets out? But they're ex you guys are exes now, so it really doesn't matter. No, it does matter ah! because we're, not, uh, we're just, he's working on his thing, I'm working You're on my thing, thing, so I don't want to, <laughs> yeah. Really? So, um, Yubi's getting married. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I'm happy for him. He's in a happy place, you yeah. know. So to marry somebody, you have to be at a certain level in your life, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very happy for him. 
You and uh, Lillian, you guys get along very well? Well, I don't really know her very well uh -huh. because when they met, I was more of doing my own thing, so I'm not, I don't really know her very well, but I wish them the best, really, because married life is, is when you find your partner, I feel like that's when your life actually begins. So, when do you think you'll be looking into marriage? Me? Yeah. Whenever the right baby come along, I'm ready. <laughs> I've accomplished what I need to accomplish. You know. Really. I'm not opposed to marriage at all. So, what's the plan for the future? Plan for the future. I am just trying to build up my brand. I am going to start a foundation for kids. I love kids, yeah. and um, being from Asaba, that's where I want myself to put my roots in because. Being somebody from Asaba, it's my responsibility to bring good things there and to yeah. spread the good word about where I'm from. Um, also, my album is dropping soon, yeah. and um, I have a lot of collabs that you guys are really going to look forward to, so mm -hmm. I really want you guys to note that. My album is dropping, album is dropping soon.